All right, combining vertical and horizontal arpeggios. A uh, quick review, we went over the major arpeggios, the three-note arpeggios, the four-note arpeggios. Uh, we went over the minor three- and four-note arpeggios. Uh, we learned how to take the arpeggio starting with each of the different fingers and coming up with different fingerings all over the fingerboard. We did horizontal on one string, on each of the six strings, and we did the vertical approach. So now combining them, basically it's the same as we went through with the, uh, you know, 100 plus fingerings of the major scale. The same concept is going to apply here. If we take a horizontal C major 7th arpeggio, C, E, G, B, on one string, it's on the 5th string horizontal, now the same concept, we will Instead of playing this B, we'll play this B. So we're horizontal, then vertical. Same thing, instead of hitting this G, we hit this G. Okay, and then finally, instead of hitting this B, we hit this B. So we're combining the horizontal and the vertical. Same as if you start on your second finger, which you're going to be doing on all the C notes, starting on all your four different fingers. So, C, E, G, B. Vertical to horizontal. Okay, then instead of this B, we're going to hit this B. Okay, then the same thing with, instead of this G, we're going to do open G. So if you start on this C, your same thing. You start with horizontal. Then instead of the B on the third string, we hit the B on the second string. And then the same thing, instead of the G on up here, we're hitting it on the second string. So we're combining the horizontal and the vertical. In this case, we are doing it there instead of the B, the B. Now we can also say if we start on this C, vertical, then horizontal. So it's a great, uh, great way to continue to learn the fingerboard. And now we're going to talk about application. We're going to start to apply these uh, major seventh arpeggios by making some music. We're just going to kind of noodle around the arpeggio, not worrying about time. We're worried about melodic uh, sense, making musical ideas using the major seventh arpeggio in all different areas of the fingerboard. Now let's start applying this C major scale to making some music. Let's just noodle a bit. Out of time, I'll pick a position. You stay in the same position as I'm going to be in. Uh, you can copy what I'm doing. You can, uh, you know, expand on what I'm doing. I'll play a couple of musical ideas, and then you play a couple of musical ideas. Kind of question, answer. So I'll stay in this position for now, starting on the root, C, E, G, B, C, B, G, E, C. Okay, that's the C major 7th arpeggio. So I'm going to noodle a bit. I'll start on the root and make a musical idea, and then you answer me. Okay, answer me. That's it. Keep it simple and melodic. Okay, let me do another one now. That's it. Go ahead. All right, keeping it simple. Legato. Okay, good. Now let me do something where I mix up the rhythm of those same notes. Instead of starting kind of on the downbeat, I'm going to kind of do it on offbeats. Go ahead. That's it. And keep it simple. Articulate each note cleanly, and end your phrase. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to start on the third, or the E note, 
Okay, and I'll go up to this position starting on the ninth fret on the third string. E, G, B, C, B, G, E. Okay, and I'm going to start by sliding into the E note. Here I go. Again, a nice free sounding musical idea. Go ahead. That's it. Tone. Good tone is important to concentrate on. Keep your ideas simple and end the phrase. Okay, same concept with the E, only we're going to move horizontal this time on the second string. Okay, you can do a slides, you can even bend up to the C from the B note to add some color and texture. Okay, here I go. Tremolo at the end, I mean a vibrato. Go ahead. That's it. You can really feel the horizontal approach. Keeping the ideas simple, bend up nice and soulfully, making nice music with this simple arpeggio and, and the idea. Very good. Okay, now we're going to start on the fifth, the G note. Why not? We'll start up here. And we'll do this fingering, because what I like about this one is you have that minor second sound. So if you hold the strings down, you get a nice cluster sound. So I'll make an idea, and then you answer me. Go ahead. That's it. Again, keep it simple, soulful, meaningful, and end your phrase. That's great. Okay, let's start on the B note now. This is one of my favorite, one of my personal favorite, which I uh, first learned from early guitar records. That's right. Expand your ideas. Keep it simple and melodic. And end your phrase. Good. A nice little trick is... You can even sweep pick it. try. Right. Good tone, even sounding notes, and soulful. You can use a lot of expression in this study. Okay, good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go through all the different keys. Go through the cycle. Maybe once a day change key tonal centers. Tomorrow you do the F major 7th and go through that kind of melodic uh, playing. Out of tempo, just making nice melodic ideas all over the fretboard, horizontal, vertical, connect them. Just really get used to that sound of that tonal center and the arpeggio on the fingerboard. Maybe 5 or 10 minutes a day. Then the next day move on to another chord. And every day, go through a different chord. It could be the three note, major or minor arpeggio. The, all the inversions that you went through, all of the uh, uh, chord arpeggios that you went through in the previous uh, section, major sixth, minor sixth, minor nine, go through them all. And just once a day, pick a chord and a tonal center and a key and go through that on the, on the guitar. It's a great study. 
Uh, now we're going to move on to making a rhythm track so we can put some of these ideas into time. Talk about rhythm, show you how to mix up the rhythm with the same notes, and create different musical ideas. going to be fun.